Lord Carrington is presumably a good listener for people who have been talking at him non-stop for over a week now. The latest, our ambassador in Afghanistan, who's been withdrawn for consultations, which means he's been pulled out to show Britain's displeasure. Mr Hillier Fry gave the Foreign Secretary a full rundown at the embassy in Islamabad before Lord Carrington swept away for yet more talks, mostly with the Pakistani Foreign Minister. The Pakistanis have not asked for any specific help from Lord Carrington. That'll probably come first from the Americans. The President, General Zia, explained when we met him that what he wants much more from Lord Carrington is a clear understanding of how the balance of power has shifted following Afghanistan and of the danger that that causes to his country. If he can understand that and if Britain is able to comprehend uh, the, way the, the way we comprehend or the way the rest of the world, I hope, uh, comprehends, then I think have, uh, our aim is served. You're saying that Lord Carrington is going to play a sort of Dr. Kissinger role, are you? Well, why shouldn't he? Isn't he the Secretary of State of uh, Great Britain? And above all, I think you ought to know he's a, he's a very lucky foreign minister. Uh, we hope he can play an equally important role uh, what he did in Rhodesia in this part of the world, not so much as a peacemaker that I'm thinking of, but as an influential uh, foreign minister in this part of the world, seeing as to what should be done in this area. Part of the whole problem is Pakistan's poverty. There are a thousand million pounds in debt on their balance of payments. Then there's the problem of General Zia himself. Following the execution of Mr. Bhutto and the cancelling of elections, the general's position is far from secure. What mob violence can do here is plainly visible at what remains of the American embassy, which was sacked during the siege of the Grand Mosque in Mecca, which rumours said the Americans had organised. And down the road, watching all this, the Russian embassy, with a staff three times the size of the British embassy. Welcome to Pakistan. The question of subversion by the Russians is something Lord Carrington sees as a real danger in every one of the countries he's been to. So despite the initial friendly banter, there was serious talk about Russian subversion, backdoor invasion, some call it, when the Foreign Secretary met General Zia for their talks. Michael Brunson, News at One, Islamabad. Michael Brunson, ITN, Islamabad. Michael Brunson, News at Ten, Islamabad.